my name is Ryan Creed. Uh, six years ago, my friend and I started a company called Lifecycle. Not enough people were growing their own food and they were disconnected to where their food came from. We wanted to make food growing accessible to any Australian family, so we created a mushroom grow kit off the back of collecting coffee waste in Fremantle. This message went across Australia and had a significant amount of interest of families and farmers and uh, entrepreneurs that wanted to start their own mushroom business and we uh, soon identified that we could support them with the services that we produce at the National Mushroom Network. The National Mushroom Network has been running for three years now. We've had uh, a variety of different innovations over time. Behind me here you'll see we've got a shroom room set up in a community space at the Shed Markets in Abbey. This is a space that the, that the public can come down and learn how mushrooms are growing and we're also using the waste product from the, from the cafe here, the coffee, to grow the mushrooms. So it's a, it's a decentralised local food system that uh, provides education and also revenue streams for, for the members who are involved with producing the mushrooms. We've supported growers to grow in shipping containers. So uh, hundreds of kilos a week can be achieved in a small amount of space um, down to the smaller size which is suitable for family um, to feed yourself uh, for you know, just as much as two kilos a week. When we started our journey six years ago, we, we were really intending to support people to eat protein-rich, iron and, and vitamin-rich mushrooms. Since that time, we researched the applications for mushrooms that are much more diverse, um, which stem all the way down into textile recycling, to uh, soil conditioning, to human immunity, animal immunity, and it goes on and on and on. So the applications for mushrooms when it comes to immunity is significant and the research has been done for centuries in the Asian cultures. So we've applied that to human health, but learned off the back of research in bee immunity um, that we can actually feed medicinal mushrooms to bees, chickens, swine um, and other farmed animals to increase the microbial health and digestive health of the animals, which therefore in creates healthier animals but increased in ability to consume and, and put on muscle mass, uh, decrease the need for antibiotics. Ethical immunity is what we're, what we're focused on and as we know regen farmers are farming with ethical processes and the disease is a lot less but if we can increase the, uh, the weight of the birds um, and shortcut the process to health um, it's what mushrooms are capable of. The soil is the beginning of the life of all the things we do and as we have found that the mushroom compost is, adds a lot of um, sponge to the soil so we've found that in the permaculture space a lot of the compost is being taken from our National Mushroom Network members and the spent, the spent mushroom compost and put into soils to condition it. Compost systems, worm farms, um, it goes on and on but growers also have a revenue channel of selling mushroom compost, the spent, the spent bags. Um, at the completion of their food production. We can do a whole lot more together and networking and partnerships with other companies that are chasing the same goals has been vital to Lifecycle and the National Mushroom Network success. Um, and yeah, it's exciting to be working alongside with Smart Soil. We met six months ago and you know, struck a chord on our intentions in the food space. And to spread our knowledge and collaborate um, is just so exciting.